Welcome to Chakra Yoga, Chakra Yin Yoga for the throat chakra. Today we're going to open up the energy and rebalance the area of the throat chakra. The throat chakra is where we speak our truth. It's where we use our words of expression. And sometimes the words can be loving and sometimes they're not so loving. So this practice today will help us to rebalance the energy in the throat chakra and to move out anything that may be blocking the throat chakra. And as always, I love to start my practice with an essential oil. If you would like to know more about the essential oils I use for my chakra series and on my chakras on a daily basis, please reach out to me. The oil I'm using today on my throat chakra is an oil by doTERRA. It's called Whisper. And it is specifically to help open up the expression of the throat chakra. It has some other wonderful benefits to it as well. So apply your oil if you're using one. And if you'd like to rub your hands together, taking a deep inhale before we start, please do that as well. Gently close your eyes, rest your hands on the knees, palms facing up, coming into the body, connecting the body, the mind, the spirit together, and just allowing yourself to connect with the breath, allow the breath to connect with the body, allow the body to connect with the spirit. I'll give you a moment to set your intention for today's practice. What is it that you wish to open, unlock, or balance in your throat chakra? Gently bring your hands together in front of your heart. Press your thumbs into your heart center. Bowing your head to your heart. Honoring yourself for taking time to practice today. To take, for taking the time to dedicate. This is self-care. This dedication will balance you. and bring you to a happier way, a happier lifestyle, balancing in body, mind, and spirit. And we take the time daily to move our body, to express our body and the movements that the body is inside through intuition asking us to go into the flow so that we can live a happy, healthy lifestyle balanced in body, mind, and spirit. Lift the head up, release the hands, and our first posture, we're going to take the our head and our hands, and we're going to stretch our neck over to towards one side. I'm starting on my right, and we're going to stay here for a little bit of time, but focusing on the affirmation. And the affirmation is, I speak up for myself. You can close your eyes and keep your eyes open. You can use the affirmation internally or externally if you're alone and you wish to speak it out loud. The palm of the hand that you're not using can rest gently on the knee palm facing up, and if you wish to bring the hand into the Amnesia, please do that. Going inside with the mantra, I speak up to myself. I speak up to myself.
I speak up for myself. Gently release the hands, bring the neck straight, and if you need to roll your shoulders maybe, whatever the movement is, to relax, to get ready to move into the other side. Gently bringing the opposite hand up, stretching the head over, and gently pulling with the, the hand gently, not not in pain, always to the point of resistance, but not pain. And the affirmation on this side is, I express myself with clarity. 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 Gently release the hand, release the neck. And if it feels right for you, bow the head forward and just roll it around gently to one side, back, opposite side, forward again. And maybe you want to do that two or three times. Whatever your body intuition is speaking gently, whispering to you so that you're connected in body, mind, and spirit. In whichever direction you choose to go in, then bring it the opposite direction to balance out. After you have finished the neck rolls just to release the posture we just came out of. Bring the soles of your feet together. We're going into butterfly pose. And allow the knees just to gently fall open with a straight back and a straight neck. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, coming forward from the hips, And every day we're different. Every day the body moves a little more, maybe a little less, honoring your body, coming to the point of resistance. And once you come to that point of resistance, allowing yourself to just fold over, 
allowing gravity to take hold of the body and supporting the body and allowing the chin to tuck into the chest. And silently or out loud, allowing yourself to say these words, I express my gratitude towards life. 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 To come out of it, just gently bring the spine back into a straight, neutral position, taking the knees up and maybe extending the legs out and shaking them out, whatever your body desires to get ready to go into the next posture. The next posture, we will come over onto our stomach We're going into Sphinx Pose. In Sphinx Pose, we have our elbows directly under our shoulders and our hands and our arms are straight out in front of us. And our legs are straight behind us, about hip width apart. And they're just, the legs are allowing gravity to support them and they're just falling down into the earth. On the elbows, the chest, and the chin, and the throat, it can be a neutral position or you can look up. It's your choice. Breathe into the pose and get ready for this next affirmation. My voice matters. My voice matters. My voice matters. Stay focused on the affirmation, the mantra. And if you enjoy to visualize, Allow yourself to focus your mind's eye on your throat chakra. Seeing it balanced, open, loving words coming from your throat. Focusing on my voice matters.
my voice matters. My voice matters. To come out of it if the neck was extended to the heavens, the sky, bring the head into a neutral position and gently push your body back into a child's pose, allowing the knees to come wide, sit on the heels of your feet, allowing yourself to come down, either your head resting on your hands or the forehead to the ground. And just staying here a moment and taking a a gentle relaxation, a gentle release. And taking this mantra for this short moment of transition. When I speak, others listen. 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 To come out of it, just gently push up. You can come through by way of tabletop if that feels right for you. And we're going to come over onto our backs. And how you get there, your choice. Maybe you want to roll down. Maybe you'd like to take your knees into your chest and come down. We're going to go up into bridge pose. And If you have a block and you wish to use a block to support the bottom of the sacrum, please do that. If you wish to come up and support yourself through the pose without a prop, please do that. So to begin, raise the hips up to the ceiling, the heavens. And you can clasp your hands underneath, tucking your chin into your chest. And the affirmation in the mantra is, I value others' words. I value others' words. I value others' words. Focusing on the affirmation, focusing on the mantra. And can you do it with a smile on your face? I value others' words. I value others' words.
I value others' words. I value others' words. To come out of it, release the hands, gently roll down on the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Taking the knees into the chest and massaging the lower back. Massaging out the lower back as long as you wish. While the knees are up into the chest, the next posture is dropping the knees over to the left as high or even to the hips. They can go up above the hips. They can go below the hips. Not, apologies, not below the hips. They can go even with the hips. Whatever feels right for you, you can cross the foot over, the top foot over the bottom, honoring your body. And you can hold the knee, extending the opposite arm out straight or in a goalpost position. Keeping the head turned to the opposite direction, if that's comfortable so that we can stretch the throat chakra. And the affirmation is, I carry myself with integrity. 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 To come out of the pose, gently bring the knees up into the chest, hugging the knees. Maybe massaging the lower back if that feels right for you. And when the body is ready, you come over to the opposite side, bringing the knees down, extending the arm out, and getting ready for one more affirmation. I know when it's time to listen. I know when it's time to listen. I know when it's time to listen. Go inside. Listen to the words of the affirmation.
I know when it's time to listen. I know when it's time to listen. To come out of the pose, gently lift the knees up. Hugging the knees into the chest. Massaging out the sacrum. Or maybe just hugging the knees, honoring your body. And after you're done rolling out the sacrum, massaging the lower back, Allow yourself to lie flat on your back, melting into the ground, transitioning into Shavasana. This is where we absorb all the healing, all the rebalancing, all the activating that we just worked on for the throat chakra. Allow your body to melt down into the earth, allowing yourself to relax, allowing gravity to support you, allowing the mind to welcome the quiet, allowing yourself to enjoy One more affirmation and mantra as the body releases to the ground. I am honest about who I am. I am honest about who I am. I am honest about who I am. Take that affirmation, that mantra, repeat it silently to yourself. Staying in Shavasana for however long your body, mind, spirit is calling you. Relax, let go. release.